I would like to say that the uh, day that we celebrate today, which is Women's Equality Day, celebrates the women's right to vote. And what we are really saying today is that a system of discrimination against women on the earnings that they have is as much a denial of a constitutional right as is their right to vote, and particularly when government is the prime antagonist to women getting decent wages. And the real significance of our talking today about women's economic rights as being fundamental constitutional rights, just as our right to vote, our right of free speech, our right of press, is because until women are able to support themselves and their families uh, on a decent level in America, then they are being denied equality that is really guaranteed by the Constitution but not yet fulfilled. Okay. Ruth well, Messenger? I, I want to say two things pertinent to the situation in New York City. Tracking what Bella and Judy just said, you must remember that in New York City today, just about half of the families are single-parent, female-headed. More than half the children in this city are living below the federal poverty line. That is not because their mothers do not work or do not want to work. It is because jobs are not available that pay adequate wages, because the jobs easily open to women and most available to them and the jobs for which these women have been trained do not meet the comparable worth pay equity standard and are not paying enough with which to raise a family. I'd also like to point out to you that the constant argument from the Koch administration against pay equity is that this is a matter to be left for collective bargaining and that it is not possible to classify and segregate jobs by analyzing their skills. If that's true, then someone ought to tell the federal government, which has had just such a job classification scheme in existence for some 40 years.